Hello, everybody. Devil Gear 21 here, bringing you some Gears of War Ultimate Edition gameplay. Now, this is being recorded at 12.40 a.m. June 20th, 2015. Games in beta only for only for a few more days. The multiplayer anyway. So I figured before this ends, I will get some gameplay to upload on my channel. And my experiences. As you can see, I've already played a good amount of it. You level slowly in this, I guess. Now for those of you wondering what Ultimate Edition is, if you did not watch the E3 Press Conference this past Monday, the Coalition and Microsoft are working from the ground up, remaking the original Gears for release in August. And what they're doing is, when they're adding everything from the original Gears, as well as its PC port, into this. They're remaking everything from armor details, characters, everything. And they've done a good job with the maps or anything to go by. Now, in this multiplayer beta, there's only two modes, as well as two uh, uh, playsets here. You have Soul Soul, which has Team Deathmatch, which you may recognize from Gears of War 3, and competitive with King of the Hill in the style of Gears of War 3. Now, as you can see in the bottom left corner, it tells, it's telling you the maps are available. Red Lock, Canals, and what we're seeing in recognized from the original Gears of War. However, there, may two, there are two that you see there, Fort Yard and Gold Rush, that you're wondering, hmm, those were in Gears 2, but they were only in DLC. They never were Gears in Gears 1. Wrong. They were maps from the multiplayer of Gears 1 on the PC side of things. Now, by the time the, this game fully launches, there'll be more... It'll have all the maps from Gears 1, both console and PC. This will also be released on PC too. Just want to point that out. However, this won't be all the content, as there may be more maps from Gears 2 or and 3 in this as well. Now, in the terms of playable characters, let me go to my statistics here. As you can see, my character right there is Donald Cog. Now, in this beta, you only have access to the characters that were in Gears of War 1 originally, that were playable. Meaning, Dom, Cole, Baird, Marcus, Anthony, Min, and Huffman, the Pog. Their regular Theron, Darren Reed, uh, General Rom, Ram, however that's your name, the Drone, Sniper, Nega Deer and one other, but in the full game, multiplayer characters from Gears 3 will be available as well. Now, I believe that's enough talking. Let's get into some gameplay. Now, the courtyard in this is different from the Gears 2. And the OC what I mean when we get to that map. One other thing to note, it this game, gameplay-wise, is the same as Gears 1, with features added in from Gears 3. You could spot enemy players, for example, as well as the weapon skins, as you can see right here. Now, there's also ranking as well. Uh, 
one sec. Now, in the original reviews, you could pick your side in this, it, I guess just, or, or just the beta, I don't know for sure. You can only, you only get on the side that, is, that you put on. Good to go. Also messed around with the settings a bit. Shit, yeah. In the first day of the beta, active reloads. Actually, it'll be better if I saw you. Oh yeah! Now, as you can see, I just active reload, but the gun doesn't show it. Active reloads are off. They will on for the first two days of the beta as well, and and self revives will off during those. Currently, self divides are on. In that sense. Now, all the guns and everything is pretty down to the ground. Up. And as you can see, this map is vastly different than the counterpart. Shit! Of course, I would do. Oh, hell no, get back here, you son. Bitch. so far, but the one thing to note is that there is a glitch with people joining the maps and there's like five people on that side. Oh, I'm dead. Under yep, I'm dead. Now, movement-wise, let me turn this down a bit. Movement-wise, this game is not the best as it was the first game, and now keeping it as much as the original was, while adding in what was added in later games. I don't think I've sewed off the spot again, have I? You attack comes well. I think it's a little bit of a mixture of uh, free with the original. Oh! Another thing is, you can really get snuck up upon. You cannot hear footstep, footsteps for shit. <laughs> and of course, it doesn't help that I have my TV muted. I'm out hearing it this post through my headset right now.
Played two months, King of the Hell. I've been playing that more than this. Fucking damn it! I hate getting snuck. If I hadn't got, if I haven't got, if I hadn't gotten chainsawed when I had the boom shot, we wouldn't have been put into this little predicament. Oh, I guess all I can do is show up I'm here. As you can see, it's definitely how it was in Gears 2, and remains largely unchanged. The only difference is where the torque, as you just saw, is, it doesn't swap out after the first round for the sniper. And there's no, obviously, no mortar because there wasn't a mortar in Gear 1. When did they lose a player? Nah. Okay. And then obviously the spawns are still the same here. Although I think he spawned up pretty much a little bit of all over the map. And, uh... I'll kill you! Oh, he killed him. Oh, hello. Yeah, as you can see, I just spotted him, and I just got stuck in the turret. Locked. No. I hate that guy. How many times has it killed me so far? Four? Five? Maybe six? Really? <laughs> Both mates to kill me! Both mates! Are you stupid? You must be! Yeah, as you can see, I just mocked him again. So, in that sense... The entire team, dude! They're moving in packs! They're like, we shall not take anyone on the load! <laughs> A bunch of fucking cowards is what they are. Really, you need your entire team to think, oh, fuck, it's coming. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, why would you do that? Okay, that's team number. We need to pull this shit back. See you back. And then uh, we lose. Unacceptable. One hundred percent unacceptable. I'll blame that loss on my team there. Uh, 